I used to have a really high-end HP oscilloscope, but when we moved into a townhouse, I had to uh, get rid of a lot of stuff that took up too much space, and that was one of them. And so I've been wondering about one of these USB oscilloscopes and see how it would work out. You know, just something simple to look at waveforms and whatever, see if, you know, like my Raspberry Pi was doing what I thought, or, or uh, take a look at the waveform from a crystal radio, something like that. So nothing, you know, too terribly technical, but uh, some of these things had some pretty good specs, so I thought I'd take a look at it. This particular one is a SaneSmart DDS120. It's kind of their low end, and I think I paid $78 for it. Uh, it's got two probes. It comes with two probes. Uh, this is a uh, 1K uh, hertz output, so you can test to see if things are working. Just runs on USB power, goes straight into the laptop over here off to the side where you can't see it. And that's it. I mean, it's just that simple. Comes with two probes that look like this. They're uh, 1X, 10X probes. And they're not, uh, you know, they're not like HP type quality, but they're, uh, they're good. They're adequate for a hobbyist. And what else? Okay, so that's pretty much it for the hardware. You uh, plug your probes into it, plug the the uh, USB cable into it, and uh, that part's ready to go. So the rest of it is the software. This is the software. The software install was a bit of a problem because the CD-ROM, well, there's no CD-ROM reader in this particular laptop, so I had to copy it over to USB drive, put that in there. The automatic install did not work. Uh, this is a Windows 7 64-bit. Uh, did not work, so I had, uh, had to install it manually, which is, you know, okay. Uh, there's not a lot of instructions on how to do it, so I, fortunately I knew how to do it. It's got your usual stuff, start, stop, uh, your timer, your channel 1, channel 2. Got a bunch of de uh, detail over here, which is very good to have on both of the probes, channel 1, channel 2. Got a bunch of stuff up here. It'll record data. It'll do a lot of stuff my old HP oscilloscope wouldn't do. It'll record stuff. Um, it's not as fast, but you're seeing one of the problems right now. There should be two lights flashing on and off up here, channel one and channel two, and it's not. And the software is not frozen because over here you can still see these values are changing. Uh, but what is happening is this window, apparently the laptop is too slow and it gets behind and this window freezes and if I wait a while it'll uh, it'll come back up so you know it's like well I thought I was gonna get by here it goes it started up again I thought I was gonna get by with uh, using this old laptop for that for this purpose and you know so 78 bucks an old laptop and hey that's all there is to it but yeah apparently you need a faster laptop than the one I've got uh, so like the two biggest things I'm gonna complain about are the fact that it does this that the laptop isn't uh, uh, is, is a bigger problem than I thought it would be and then the software installation not so easy uh, but you know otherwise if you just want to see a basic waveform like right now I'm looking at a computer clock chip yeah it's great I mean you know if you want to look at your crystal radio output and see if it's working or your Raspberry Pi uh, it does a really good job and again it gives you all the details it'll do stuff like recording if you could if you can come up with you know like the three or four hundred dollars for a Rigol standalone oscilloscope you're probably better off because you also might notice that this is kind of big. It takes up a big area on your on your bench. So yeah, I mean I've got this whole space up here from the back of the keyboard to the front of the keyboard up here, and then of course it's pretty tall. So yeah, it's in color and all that stuff. Uh, and there again, it went to freezing. Again, it's okay. 78 bucks, not too bad. So there we have it for this Sane Smart DDS120. And, you know, the software complaint is, you can read that about all these USB oscilloscopes. Uh, they, they just don't seem to put the effort into the software that they should. Uh, I think if this were a little more efficiently written, it probably wouldn't uh, uh, lock up or get behind, and one could use a slower computer. So, but overall, it's not terrible. If you want to see a waveform, a general waveform, it's pretty good. But anyway, that was it. thought you might want to take a look at one of these USB oscilloscopes. Well, hope you found it interesting and perhaps useful if you go to look for one.